trust me bringing you another update please stay to the end of the video leave a like it helps the video subscribe if you haven't subscribed and let me know what you think in the comments as usual you know when people talk about reptilians or when someone talk about reptilians especially on the internet people tend to feel that no this is just this is not real this is just another one of those stories that are not real but there are some books and there are some people you would listen to and there are some predictive programming that we, we, we've actually seen on tv shows especially the simpsons it's very very popular down there and um you you would you would also notice that a lot of the things simpsons predicted and I, I don't call them predictions anymore i think they are accurate informations that they had on there many of them have, had, have actually come to pass so when they talk about reptilians a lot of people tend to discredit it but we we, we need to we need to see the book from fritz springer it actually talk about reptilians and we have to acknowledge the fact that like this statue we got we, we, are, we are actually looking at why is this statue there? Why is a reptilian hugging a human being? Why is a reptilian on logos? Why are reptilians everywhere, like in club, in football club logos? You can see them in statues and in a lot of people's on crest. Why? What is the connotation between humans and reptilians? This research is very, very important, and I want us to at least do a digging. If you do not want to do a digging, you guys can pick up Fritz Springer book and read it. The Illuminati bloodlines. It is very, very interesting and it will tell you guys a lot.